test fired about a couple of days ago. Uh, what uh, what were the snags in it? Uh, Basically, the missile, as you know, Nirbhaya has been flight tested earlier and it has been successfully completed all its uh, development trials it has gone through. And we only wanted to increase the indigenous content in that and by incorporating many things, uh, including the engine and various other things. And so the missile actually had gone off uh, very well. It took off very well, uh, the separations and many other things, and engine also started uh, functioning very well. After that, some snack has come, which our people are looking into it, and uh, that must be a very, uh, some uh, one element uh, malfunctioning or something like that. I am not very sure right today. The team is looking into it, and we should be able to come out of it, and then we'll be going ahead with the program uh, very in a very accelerated way. Sir, uh, we also uh, saw this on um, 9th uh, test fired the Rudram 1 uh, uh, anti-radiation missile. So, uh, what is the missile about and what capability does it give to the Indian Air Force? It's basically an anti-radiation missile launched from an aircraft and uh, when you release it, it will be able to detect uh, any emitting elements and wherever are there and then you will be able to lock onto that emitting elements and then it will be able to go and attack them. So that is what has been attempted uh, in the trial, what we have done. It has been released from aircraft and it could detect the emitting elements. And then that's what is tested at uh, ITR Balasore. And so it could go to the target very accurately. So that proves the, the total capability of the air-launched anti-radiation missile. And so we need to do a couple of more trials to prove the complete uh, system technologies under various conditions and once it is done it goes into the um, air force and it will strengthen the air force in attacking the enemy's uh, emitting elements uh, you mean to say the radars yeah